In Marsabit, we begin by visiting the county referral hospital. Again, authorities say the facility was not looking good and services were poor before devolution. Since the intervention of the county government, we, we are able to benefit from there is an ultrasound unit that has come up. Also on top of that, we have a portable X-ray machine which, you, which has been of great benefit to us. Before the county government, the maternity unit used to we used to get 50 to 60 deliveries per month. That, since the interception of the county government, that has uh, tripled to 150 mothers delivering in our maternity uh, unit uh, since the county government has come into place. That is attributed to us the uh, number one, the equipping of the maternity units that we have. We've doubled the number of uh, the nurses that are working in our maternity unit. Previously, we just used to wash the linen from the patient using our bare hands. But uh, now, we, we're having a state-of-art uh, washing machine. The laundry unit now is complete. Not forgetting that there is an eye, an, an eye unit that has come courtesy of uh, the county government. Our theatre has not been left behind. We've had two anesthetic machines. We are coming up with four-story building, a, a, a modern hospital complex. The county executive committee member for health says the number of health workers has doubled in the last three years. We used to have only 15 medical officers, but now we have 18 general doctors. We used to have 254 nurses, but now we have 418 nurses. We used to have um, 40 clinical officers. As at now, we have 48 clinical officers. He says access to health facilities has improved and drug supply is much better. Much of the challenges is due to the vastness of the county, poor communication network, poverty, and illiterate population who uh, have a problem when it comes to demand side. That uh, most of them will go to the traditional uh, medicine instead of taking coming for the conventional me medical uh, medical care. Trukana County is yet another hardship area where service delivery for many years has been hampered by inadequate resources. For the central government, we only had two doctors in the whole of Turkana County, which is covering 77,000 square kilometers. And we thank the devolution because at the moment we have 42 doctors, which is an history in Turkana County government. And uh, our patients are really getting uh, standard services. We were able to renovate Lodo County Referral Hospital. We do outreaches, services. Um, with the uh, other institutions like AMREF. We did a cross-border uh, cross outreaches whereby we, the Lukana County Government, especially the Minister of Health and the Pastor, visited the, the Turkana people who are grazing in Uganda. Before, we only had seven health centers. At the moment, we have 46 equipped health centers. The health department says the number of dispensaries has grown from 71 in 2012 to 131 in 2015. It says construction of dispensaries has reduced the average distance to a health facility from 35 kilometers to 10 kilometers. <laughs> The other challenge is also the, the lack of specialists. We have advertised for specialists, but uh, maybe the packages is not attractive. And this one we really request the national government, at least for the specialists like a pediatrician, a gynecologist, orthopedic surgeon, physician, consultant. Those who need to be posted to this 
uh, semi-harid areas because we cannot attract them. We try our level best, but uh, we are not getting them. At the Nyeri County Referral Hospital, we sought to find out the impact of installment of equipment under the national government's managed equipment scheme. We have received quite some uh, new equipment from the MES project. We also have an MRI equipment, which also had come earlier through a national uh, arrangement. So in this MES uh, equipment, we have the mammogram. We also have uh, an ultrasound unit. It's a modern high-tech ultrasound unit. We also have an OPG equipment. OPG is for examination of the, uh, the teeth. We have a digital X-ray equipment. This, we have also received an, another equipment, which is a mobile, digital mobile X-ray equipment, and this one will assist us so much in theater. Now, in, in, in ICU, earlier we had also received an uh, MRI. This is a ma magnetic res resonance imaging machine, which can be used to examine patients' uh, brain, yeah? brain, uh, the spines, using mag magnetism, unlike CT, where you use X-rays. The Reno unit is another new installation. Now, our patient before we started the dialysis, they used to go to a Kenyatta hospital. However, inadequate staff like in many other counties, is a big challenge. We don't have nurses, especially nurses who are doing the dialysis. We only have three nurses working here. And also the, the workload. Patients are so many, we are not able to handle them. So most of the time, most of them still go to KNH for dialysis. In Garissa County, before devolution, according to the county government, there were only two ambulances, all based at the then Garissa Provincial General Hospital. There were no referral services. There were only 20 doctors and 90 nurses, and supply of drugs was poor. Our sub-county hospital has, uh, has got a new radiology building constructed, and which will serve uh, around four sub-counties. Uh, even across border to, from uh, Somalia. There are six new modern and equipped theatres in the six sub-counties and modern maternities, one in each sub-county, according to the county government. We have less referrals to Garissa because we're able to provide comprehensive services in terms of uh, theatre operations and also blood transfusion. Stakeholders say devolution is not a problem. The problem lies in processes. Way forward, in general terms is one. In terms of making devolution work, I'm convinced that there has to be a better coordination between the national government and the county governments in making sure that the systems that have been devolved are supported to work. And we have the intergovernment relations secretariat where both the county governments and the national government can sit and say, where is the problem in this system? Can we let the national government do this on our behalf? Or how do we help the county government and sustain their, their system? Without egos, power struggle, uh, the desire to have more funds. You know, if the focus, if the eyes are on the price, and the price is the health of the people and the well-being of the people, then the intergovernmental relations is the best uh, secretariat is the best place they can get this done. As the doctors' union, it's also our responsibility to give guidance to the country. Uh, doctors struggle every single day to save Kenyans' lives. And the same way we struggle to save Kenyans' lives, it is important that the same way Kenyans listen to us when you tell you, go take this medicine, you will get well, is the same way they should listen to us when we tell them, there's a problem here, can we manage it better? The evolution of healthcare isn't a bad idea, but it was mishandled. And it, the simple thing to do is to put a structure, and that structure requires change in legislation. The intention of the ministry, through Kenya Medical Training College, to have a, a training college in every county, if not two. And part of the training, the number to be trained will be from the local county, so that we can build the necessary capacity. So, 
as far as the, what KMTC can do, we are trying very hard. And we are collaborating with the counties to open these KMTCs. And we are glad they are supporting the initiative. They see the value which is going to be there. On that note, we come to the end of the show, but keep the conversation alive. On Twitter, use the hashtag on your screen. And remember, we have more to come on other devolved services of the government. We are glad you followed the series on the health sector. And on behalf of the crew, bye-bye for now.